How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. First off, I'm not even going to try to hide it from you guys. I bought a new seat, as you can see. Uh, this is a Buddy Club P1, their limited edition fixed back bucket seats. It's really, really sick. Great Alcantara all up and down the entire thing. Some nice red stitching, nice accents, all that good stuff. Some nice P1 embroidery right there, as you can see, Buddy Club. And then it says Buddy Club right here on the back as well. I am very hyped on this because I only paid $300 for it, and these are about 700 brand new. So I'm extremely excited about that. I picked it up off a guy on OfferUp. He was really, really cool. Uh, I started talking to him on Saturday, and Sunday went and bought it. So that was awesome. As you can see, other than these little tiny blemishes right here, it was just rubbed through because he had this seat in an S2000, and he said it was too narrow for the car, so it rubbed against the center console right here. Other than that, this thing is in literally perfect condition. I am extremely excited to be able to put that in the car. And speaking of that, I just had all my hardware delivered to my P.O. box. I'm gonna go pick up all my hardware, and the brand new one, and my racing spec that I have back here are both gonna be going in the G today. I'm beyond excited to be completely honest. Like I, I've been waiting to put that one in for a year and a half now. I've had that seat for a year and a half now, and it's just been sitting because I was never able to find rails that were the right size, that weren't uh, being sold for an arm and a leg. I don't know if I ever said this on camera or not, but I picked up two rails, two buddy club rails, super low down uh, rails and sliders that are a perfect fit for both of those seats. I got both driver and passenger shipped from Nevada, $150 for both of them and shipping included in that. So I am extremely excited to be able to put that stuff in the car finally. Let's go and pick that stuff up. Awesome, thank you so much. Have a good one. Package secured, we got our hardware and uh, it's time to go back home and put the seats in. Oh. oh, I'm so happy that I'm saying that. That is so awesome. Let's see if I got what I need. Copper washer assortment. This is possibly what I'm looking for. Uh, yeah, this is gonna work. There's a combo set. Should be good. And allen keys. Standard and metric all in one. Perfect. Alright, hey. I got what I was looking for. Nico? Yeah, perfect. Okay, you're looking at 4076. Not the camera. Thank you. It looks like a very expensive camera. <laughs> I actually, <laughs> uh, actually, I got it off a friend for 300 bucks. Thank you, man. You too. All right, package secured. We got our washers, we got Allen keys, and we got some open-end wrenches. Now it's time to head home and put some new seats in this thing. I just got home. Get this thing out of here, and once I have this out, then I'm going to bring the buddy clubs out and bolt them into the brackets and then uh, we will get them set in here. bracket full assembly out of the car it's time to put the new ones in <laughs> I am very excited about this it looks like a, a seat graveyard but there's the P1 driver side seat rail passenger side seat rail and the racing spec now I'm going to bolt both the seats up to our brackets and then pull out our passenger seat and we're gonna get these in the car. I gotta pull these little arms out a little further so that the P1 will sit in here properly because as of right now I believe these are spaced out and set up for a racing spec. So this is slightly wider 
at the base uh, and I'm gonna pull them out right now. Whoever tightened this on here did not want these things coming off. Now that they're loose, I can just slot the seat right in here. And then once I have bolts in the sides of the seat, I can adjust them as necessary and then tighten them down. So now that it's in there, I'm basically just gonna kind of move it around, see where I like it, and try to make sure that it's as straight and, you know, centered as possible. And then I'll actually add the rest of the bolts and snug it down. But for right now, there it is. It's in here. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. That is so cool. Now I'm just gonna move it toward the car and see where I need to position it so that it sits perfect and then tighten it all up and bolt her in. See how she fits in. Driver's seat is in. However, I am gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until I get the passenger side in to do the reveal. All four bolts are out of the new, or out of the, all four bolts are out of the old seat and it's basically free. So I gotta tilt it out this way and disconnect everything from underneath because you know, old electric stuff, so. This hunk is out. Time to get this one into the bracket. I didn't want to show you guys the same thing you've already seen, so I just bolted passenger side into the bracket. Got my seatbelt bracket all hooked up to it and ready to go. And this one's ready to throw in, so let's do that. This is something I didn't expect to run into. Check this out. I didn't think about the fact that passenger side has a much different mounting point. So as you can see, there's a huge gap right there. Push it up all the way to these top holes on the bracket. Okay, well, it is with great pleasure that I announce the seats are in and it looks really cool. I gotta say, man, this looks really awesome. That is dope. All right, well, my camera decided that it wanted to die on me and even though my other battery was plugged in, apparently that's dead as well. This is sick. 
both seats are in, they're all bolted down, set in place. Front seat conversion is essentially complete. So without further ado, enjoy. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I am extremely happy to say the very least. I now have buckets in both front seats. Fortunately, they're not matching. They're not the exact same seat, but they are both buddy club and I have zero complaints. I'm very thankful that I got uh, such great deals on everything. <laughs> That's really, really cool. All that being said, and everything that you just watched, I hope you enjoyed. I really had a lot of fun. Uh, you know, this is the first time that I pulled a stock seat out of one of these things. So it was cool. And I'm also happy that I have that, this thing out of here. I mean, as you saw in the little cinematic piece that I made, it looks great. I really, really hope you enjoyed. This was a fun one to make. And the first of uh, many more things coming for the interior. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like down below, drop a comment. Let me know what you thought. Subscribe if you haven't already. Almost to a hundred, which is really cool. So thank you guys for that. I will see you in the next one. Shoots.